and welcome to part two everyone we've got the deadlift and just like usual no primer no power clean no warm-ups i went right into working reps with 335 pounds so a nice little increase from last time so there's really no need to do any warm-ups i can just go right into these 10 sets of four 90 seconds of rest between sets and these went well they feel very comfortable of course it does it's 335 this shouldn't even be a second thought i don't have to do anything special i can focus just more on speed oh as you can see right here set three i don't know what happened i thought i pressed record maybe i double tapped the record button and accidentally just didn't record it for whatever reason so my apologies but trust me when i say that it was done so i did get all 10 sets even though you're only going to see nine and again very comfortable day just like with the squat i don't know if you can tell from this angle but i did take a narrow stance now for the deadlift especially conventional i usually do take only a hip width stance very rarely will i go shoulder width and that's typically when i go closer towards my one rep max but for the most part all the way until about 455 i believe i can take a pretty narrow stance and pull the bar through a good full range of motion not that there's anything wrong with the shoulder width stance or a little bit wider but when you have a, a more narrow stance like this you do feel just that little bit of extra pulling distance and some people can use that to actually strengthen their deadlift so if you start to use a longer range then it can help you when you don't have as much but for me it's just a really strong stance for me until i get upwards of like 500 pounds then i'll just slowly start to widen out my stance a bit not a lot just about shoulder width maybe a slightly bit wider than shoulder width but until then i can keep a pretty much a hip width or even a little closer than that stance and i feel very comfortable with it so just like with squat, I did think about doing something afterwards. I thought about doing anything from a snatch grip deadlift to a little bit of sumo deadlift uh, or even a reverse lunge, but I really didn't want to do anything else. So I'm happy with that. I got my squats done, got the deadlifts done, and that's really the most important thing. And that what I would say is a good baseline. Anything else after that is bonus and extra, but... Today, I just felt like stopping after deadlifts, even though I probably could have done something. All right, y'all. Thank you, and adopt, don't chop.